Hey YouTube, welcome to TCT and the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. Um, crazy because I just send sometimes. And no, I'm not going to put on chapstick. I did that before the video for like the first time in how long? Like ever, maybe? The troll because I consider myself a troll when I don't have on face paint. And when I do paint my face, I still consider myself a troll, but a cute troll nonetheless. This video is because I'm confused. Um, I did a previous video that I realized I'm allergic to Carmine. And so in some eyeshadow palettes... I would put the shadow on, I always wear an eyeshadow primer, put the eyeshadow on, my eyes would itch, my eyes would tear, my eyes would get dried out, and it, it just was not good. And I recently saw a sale for the Urban Decay Honey, the Naked Honey Palette, and it was like $24.50, and I'm just like, ugh. But then after I purchased it, I looked at the ingredients, and I'm like, oh my gosh, it has Carmine in it, because I just gave away the ABH Modern Renaissance Palette, because that had Carmine in it, and whatever shade I used, it irritated the heck out of my eyes and when I started um, looking around on the internet and yes I know my camera looks crooked um, I realized that some people were saying it was the Carmine so I was like oh my gosh I'm allergic to Carmine so then I started thinking about the other eyeshadow palettes I have when I had the Viseart dark matte palette irritated the hell out of my eyes um, I ended up sending that back However, as I looked into the ingredients of other palettes I have that I use without any problems, they have Carmine in it too. And so I'm like, what's the deal with that? And so these are, this one I didn't open yet, the Fenty Moroccan Spice Palette, which I know a lot of people didn't like, but I really liked it. And so it went on sale, it's still on sale. <laughs> so I purchased another one. So this one I did not open yet because um, I want to preserve it as long as possible while I work through my other palettes. The other palettes I have here that I have been using... Um, is the Viseart, let me read it correctly, <laughs> Neutral Matte Milieu Palette, the Natasha Denona Leela Palette, her Sunset Palette, <laughs> and the Biba Palette. All of these have Carmine in it. And I'm just like, why do I not have any problems at all with these palettes? And so I looked up the ingredients, where they were, wrote some notes, typed them out. And so we're going to start with the Moroccan Spice Palette. This has 16 shadows. Out of the 16, eight have Carmine listed as the second to last or the last ingredient. And I've never had any <laughs> problems at all with any of those shadows in there. Um, the next one, I'm just gonna stay in order. The mattes, for the order that I had, looked them up. The Viseart Neutral Mattes Milieu has 12 shadows, sorry for the glare. And it says, plus minus may contain, and it lists Carmine as the second to last ingredients across the whole palette. Because some some palettes, they list ingredients per shadow. But this one for the entire palette says it may or may not contain plus or minus and list Carmine as the second to last ingredient. I have no issue at all with this palette. Um, I already talked about the dark mattes. It said the same thing. It was 12 shadows. It said plus or minus may contain and it listed Carmine as the second to last ingredient. That one irritated, as I said, the hell out of my eyes and I could not use it at all. So I'm like, what's the difference between that one and this one? I don't know. I am so confused. The next one <laughs> that I'm going to talk about is the Natasha Denona Biba palette. I'm going to try not to create a glare. So this is what that looks like and has 15 shadows for all <laughs> of the shades. And it does break it down per shade. It says may or may not, contain, may contain plus minus and list Carmine as the last ingredient for every shadow in this palette. The next one is the Lila palette. Oh, and for the Biba, I have used every shadow in there at least three times. This is the Leela palette. I've used every shadow in here also at least three times, like every single one. You know what? This folds all the way back. Why am I doing that? <laughs> so this is what that looks like. And this one, again, is 15 shadows. Ten shades have Carmine in various places on the ingredients list. And so then I went back to see where is Carmine on the list. Five of these shades list Carmine as the first ingredient, the first. Four shadows list Carmine as the third ingredient, 
and one shadow in here lists carmine as the fourth ingredient i've used all of these numerous times i have no problem at all with those shades i am so confused this is the natasha denona sunset palette i took out the chroma crystal ones because the fallout irritated my eyes so that's why you have blank spaces here this one is a sample this is a sample and then well, those are only two samples of her of her shadows from other palettes from if you purchase $25 or more you got a shade for free and so for this palette it has 15 shades 12 shades list carmine as either the last or second to last ingredient eight of which says plus minus may contain I have no problems with any of these shades and so I'm wondering does it depend on how much carmine is in the product which doesn't really make sense for palettes like this one where some of the shadows do list carmine as the first ingredient i'm wondering if there's other ingredients within that formula that causes the carmine to not have a negative effect on my lids so that's what i'm wondering so i'm thinking it depends on how much carmine and whether or not there's other ingredients in the palette that counteract my having a negative reaction to the carmine and so that's the only thing I can come up with, but I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think about that? And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please comment below. If you have skin allergies or irritations to different items or products or ingredients, let me know. And let me know how you found out about it. And does it matter how much of that ingredient is in there or not? What are your thoughts? Thanks for watching. Bye.